Hey everybody. Uh, so I haven't done a stream in a, in about a week, and uh, I'll be coming with new stuff. Uh, you know, not daily, but but definitely weekly. Um, and I want to, I just saw this video from ETC, which I put a link to in the description. And, uh, it's a video on Elon Musk and, uh, a new AI report that's come out on, um, <clears throat> artificial intelligence, uh, rendering a lot of human activity, uh, human jobs, um, you know, obsolete. So, um, and I have some notes here, but, uh, it's essentially the, you know, automation is a threat to our future and, uh. What else? Uh, you know, humans lagging behind machines. So, you know, I've, I've had thoughts on this for a while. And uh, I, the, seeing this video that just came out yesterday really, uh, you know, uh, inspired me to share. And <clears throat> uh, while I think it's super cool to for humans to, to uh, uh, you know, become cyborgs and do a bunch of, uh, you know, cool uh, Terminator slash Iron Man-esque stuff, um, as enhanced uh, physical beings, I think that our, our the, the real bread and butter for us as a human race is going to be uh, spiritual technology. And I think that that's going to require us as a human race to, to not only look at uh, esoteric spiritual practices, but also integrate those into uh, those ideas, uh, which, which are not commonplace for the most part. I, I love seeing films like, um, what was it, Doctor Strange, even though I, I didn't think it was you know, that great because it essentially was Iron Man uh, and Ant-Man and, uh, you know, a bunch of other Marvel films. But I love seeing films like that simply because of, of uh, certain ideas like astral travel, etc., that are being placed into the mainstream, um, you know, mainstream dialogue. And uh, I think it's super important because if you if we don't have this dialogue, people don't even, you know, a lot of people don't even know what that is. And those are essential parts of our, of our you know, uh, human uh our, our spiritual, or should I say, it's not even spiritual, it's just like it's, there's an exper experience that we have as, as beings that, that is more than physical and, it, and you know, it goes beyond, there, there are several layers to, um, to experience and beyond spiritual, beyond mental and, and uh, I just think it's really important to start having the conversation of these things because if you don't, you know, if you don't identify them uh, or identify the steps toward a, a new understanding, you're likely not going to know what you're looking at if you see something that's, that's different. So, um, you know, to, to fast forward and get to the point of my idea um, that I want to share, uh, you know, I essentially grew up with, with psychics, you know, in my life. Uh, and, um, and that blew my mind as a kid. Uh, not, it, well, it wasn't even so much blowing my mind, it was, it was commonplace. Um, but what blew my mind was that other people didn't grow up with this amazing advantage. Um, and even one of my mentors as a young adult um, was a... a and I didn't even know this at first, he revealed it later on, you know, essentially is a psychic that the police hire, that the military hires, that the fire department hires uh, for investigations. And this guy, you know, it's it, it, it's so cool that our, our um, institutions have been employing psychics, uh, governments, etc., great leaders for a very, very long time. But this is something that's not really in the mainstream. And this is not something I talk about on a regular basis either, because this is, it's very private, it's a very personal part of me. Uh, part of my life, and um, and I think it's important that we as a culture start to identify, um, uh, specifically in the tech world, <laughs> uh, identify these amazing uh, human attributes and start to to build technology around that. And I think that that's what's really going to give us our uh, help us maintain an edge over artificial intelligence um, is our ability to look into the spiritual aspect of our experience. Reading this amazing. Uh, we're listening to a book on tape, <laughs> to a, 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 a reading that might have been done just for YouTube, actually, of Tuesday Lop Song Rampa, and um, Rampa was a was a, a Tibetan monk, I believe, and he's just got some amazing, very important ideas. And he breaks down um, uh, spirituality and the and human experience and and the spirit um, and what he calls the silver cord, which connects our our over self that he calls it. Some people refer to it as the soul and he, you know, the soul is actually a, a different idea, a bigger idea. Um, but this, this controller that is connected to our, our brains and body, um, that sends messages to us to operate here in, in this world. And I, and essentially, you know, Elon Musk's idea and the matrix's idea and all this stuff of, of us being in a simulation, uh, you know, make sense when looked at, uh, when you look at it from this perspective of um, 
you know, I, I've consistently felt, I know a lot of people feel, when you really think about who you are, you know, who am I? Like, I am, you know, when you keep on saying that to yourself, you essentially get, to, if you keep doing it, you're going to get to a place where, you know, you're going to, you're not going to be able to answer it because it's, you're something else. You're not necessarily of this space. You're operating in this space. So, um, so yeah, they're interesting ideas, but I highly recommend checking out Tuesday Love Song Rampa's You Forever um, book. And there's a great playlist. And, and I can also put the uh, uh, a link to that in the description as well. But, you know, <clears throat> the cool idea of the the uh, the overself and what the, the silver cord that connects us to the body is essentially, you know, with the molecules, like these this wide array of mo molecules spinning a, a above our heads. And he breaks down what the aura is and what the... the uh, the uh, etheric plane is and, and astral travel and all this other stuff. And again, this is stuff that, that's been commonplace conversation in my family for, for, you know, since I was born. Um, but <clears throat> to hear someone start to break down these ideas, uh, in, in incredibly practical and scientific ways, are really amazing. So I recommend checking this stuff out. This is not the normal Jan rant <laughs> or maybe it will be, who knows? But um, it, my my angle here, my point here is is essentially to say that um, you know, it, it's it, for us to advance and to to maintain a a lead over over the artificial intelligence, which is which is essentially going to render a lot of really mundane practices in our society uh, obsolete for humans, which they should be. People shouldn't be doing stupid things that a machine can do. It's it's a waste of your time. It's a waste of our time in our society. My time was already wasted as a child going to school. School, essentially, in my opinion, is a waste of time. Um, it, there's a lot of information that that you're um, that that is useless to to you as a young person. Children are brilliant. I have a two year old. He's brilliant, and I want to help maintain this two year old's brilliance uh, by giving him as much um, uh, quality information as possible not wasting his time with with very slow ideas um that don't help to to elevate the soul uh on on you know in this plane so uh i can rant all day about that kind of stuff and i, I you know I, I did this kind of uh impromptu because i just saw this video from etc uh that i put in the link to the description on elon musk and the artificial intelligence and i you know to wrap up you know, my idea here is simply saying that, yeah, it's cool that we can be cyborgs one day, but if we're not focusing on the spirituality and building spiritual technology, stuff that helps us see things like auras, which, you know, already exist to a certain extent. I've used those machines before. Stuff that helps us register chi, and chi is not necessarily spiritual, but it's pseudo-spiritual. Um, and, and I think China's got some stuff on that already. But, um, if we don't start investing more into into breaking down these esoteric ideas and and seeing how they actually uh, how a, a spiritual understanding can connect to technology, uh, I think that we're going to be uh, uh, you know if we don't do that we will lag behind. So I think we need to. Um, yeah, and you know then I'll, I'll leave you with a final idea. I personally believe that eventually technology in and of itself will advance to a point where. Uh, the soul can inhabit a machine. So just want to leave you with that. <laughs> uh, I'm interested in your comments on that below. Um, but you know, it's it, it's just an interesting thought exercise at the very least. But um, but yeah, I will be posting again in the coming days. And uh, you know, please subscribe. Uh, follow me on social at Jan Lucanis. And um, lots of fun stuff coming soon. Thanks.